It looks like we're going back to our old ways again, ending off episodes with two parts still having been finished yet. Looks like I'm going back to my old ways. Hey guys, Willpower64 here, bringing you back to another part of Bomberman Hero. In the last part, we arrived here in the Death Pyramid, took out two death areas, known as Death Temple and Death Road, and we're going for a triple death. We're heading to the Death Garden. Death is not a funny thing to laugh at. And hey, those guys again like to, you know, readjust their belts right before they meet their ultimate doom. Oh man, this place really is the Death Garden. Anyways, around here, we got ourselves some barrel boys. Take them out. Some more crystals for us to collect. And is there one over here? Nope. Okay. Uh, there's a new enemy out here. This is actually a very interesting enemy. I always find it kind of weird. Uh, I think one's going to show up right over here. Here it is. Look at that. That's just weird how it just wobbles around like that. I mean, I mean, yeah, it's only got two. You can't even call them legs. They're actually just like they're like leaves. I don't get it. Uh, as you can see here, this is one of these rooms that require uh, the crystals, the four crystal keys. I think that's gonna be one of them in here. Yep, there it is. And let me guess, another. Yep, there he is. Take... Oh, okay, that one was spitting out some. Spores, I guess? P potent? Something. Allergy season. You know, it is, um, we're still in March as of, uh, recording this, so, yeah. Spring season. Allergies. These flowers are definitely deadly at this time of year. Alright, let's go get this crystal up here. And is there gonna be, yep, another one of those things. And, yes, you also notice, if I couldn't tell, we also got the special bomb that, uh, I can just drop a bomb and... There we go. Do one of those kind of special bomb things. So, obviously, maybe back when I was playing this game, this song wasn't out yet. But, every time I'm in the death area now, I'm always thinking, like, the death chamber from uh, Sonic Adventure 2. Just, that just pops into my mind now. Ow. Here, you'll make me feel better. There we go. I just don't get it. It's so funny seeing these guys. They're like, I gotta adjust myself. Get myself ready. Ready for combat. But, I don't know. Anyways, like I was saying, Death Chamber. I would start singing that right now, but sadly, there is no Death Chamber. There's only, I think, Death Garden, Death Temple, and Death Road. I think we're the ones. Okay, he didn't want to blow up. Now, oh, there we go. Now he wanted to. He just had to keep on rolling. Okay, these enemies here, you notice there are some pink ones and there's a red one. Yeah, want to hit the red one. So I'm just going to... See if I can, come on, throw, boom, nope. There we go. <laughs> That's all it took was like, just something simple like that. Watch out for evil masks. I like to fly towards you. All right, and float back, good. You're gonna go forward, yeah. Okay, cool. Um, haven't seen it yet, but, um, just for a little heads up, whenever you get a special uh, bomb, like what we have here. Um, wow, this place actually has three flames and not a single bomb in here. And can't really see it, but there's a bug flying around in my room. I think it's, I don't know, cancer. But anyways, um, if you ever get a special bomb and that didn't work. You get a special bomb and if you collect a bomb uh, metal, your bomb, your special bomb will go back. It'll disappear. You'll go back to regular bombs. So, if you want, um, some stages get a little tricky when it comes to, hey, speaking of bomb, uh, some of these stages get a little annoying when it comes to this thing, where they expect you to, uh, what am I trying to say here? There's the last crystal. Uh, okay, no, what they're trying to say is, um, do the things with a special bomb first before you go back to your regular bomb, is what it is I'm trying to say here. Um, we'll be seeing that in de especially in uh, different uh, levels. So, can I actually go to the next one? No, I can't. I actually have to go to that next one. Okay. Well, anyways, here we go. Float zone. Oh, this stage. This has got weird music. Like, this music is weird, but it's so good. Uh oh, okay, he's gonna, he's gonna blow! He's gonna blow! Okay, he blew up. Speaking of which, I also blew up. Man, this place should have been known as the bubble room. Okay, I didn't get him that time. 
If, if you get a bubble pa panel, you'll be able to float. So I guess this is what's what called bomb panel, bubble panel. There we go. Look at this. We are floating. At this point, there's nothing you can do except float. So we're going to go set off that car alarm. Blow him up and... Ah, we didn't get him again. Okay. So anyway, so this stage is pretty much... Well, it explains what it is. You're floating. It's the float room. So you just got to float. Take a bubble and float. Maybe this is the idea that they got from... Uh, well, I think this is Hudson. Hudson's off. And, well, Nintendo was just like, Hey, we'll help you with this. So maybe this is where they got the bubble idea for the uh, the Mario games. You know, Mario Bros. Uh, Wii and... Uh, or was we and Wii U? And Super Luigi U? Who knows? Maybe this is where they got the bubble idea from. Well, anyways, let's just keep going this way. Okay, there's a bubble there, but ah! Don't want to leave that. I mean, technically, you're not really screwed. If you miss anything, you can just hop down. But seeing how long it takes to get up, get up here with the bubbles and stuff, I would want recommend get everything before you go to your next floor. Just, just to save time. Well, anyways, let's take this guy out and uh, I'll take your brother out. Join your brother. So this is actually one of the stages that actually doesn't involve, well, death, like a death name based area. Knowing these are these are called the uh, the death pyramid. There isn't actually a death. This isn't a death level. It's just a regular level. And I missed that. Come on, I want that. Uh, I actually want to stand over here. Go this way. Click this, we're gonna go up, collect that, and we wait. Yes, I'm not joking, we actually have to wait. Wait to get these crystals and all the other stuff. And pop. There we go. Click. Beat that guy up, collect these crystals, collect this, and get our next Otic Bomb. That's two. It's two in the same stage. Honestly, to be honest, I actually totally forgot that. Okay. Um, I actually forgot that the other stage actually had an Nautic Bomb in there. I totally forgot about that. Okay, we'll collect this. This is an odd number. Um, let's just do it. Maybe that was to activate the door? Maybe? Anything up here? Nothing up here. Okay. Uh, okay, alright. I'm always a little skeptical whenever I get an odd number like that, and I'm like, hmm... I don't like that. All right, here we go. Aqua Tank. Next stage. Let's roll. Okay. Got creepy music here. Destroy the blue tank to pass the flaming gate. Huh. All right. So, blue tank passing a flaming gate. You can kind of have an idea what's in that blue tank. Air, obviously. You know, blow the air, blow the flames away. That's what you got to do. And come on. Thank you. You know, like, don't they teach you that back in like elementary school or even on your birthdays? How do you get out of flame? Simple, you blow on it, you just blow on the candle and there goes the flame. So that's what we're gonna do. That tank is filled with air. So we wanna take out the air tank. And we got a bomb. Kablooey. All right, and am I the only one who's kinda noticed this, but does the floors look like Lego? Kind of like Lego flooring. Is this place, is this pyramid ba made out of Legos? Get rid of this jerk, I hate these jerks. And there's the flaming gate. Ah, it looks like if you time it right, you'll be able to find a way through that. Take that switch. And we're gonna jump, collect these. Oh, okay. Come on, let's keep going. Actually, we didn't go this way. This way, and you know what? Good, we got that. And that thing's going back down. Jump for it! Okay, we made it. Cool. I didn't think we we're. Actually, I didn't think we we're gonna make it. Hit that switch. Blow hit that. Good thing the um the skull bomb doesn't count for that. And hey, look who it is! What's up, buddy? I'm take this guy out. Take him out, and we gotta go for this guy here. Take him out. And here's the air tank. Oh, maybe it actually was filled with water instead. Okay. All right. I will concede. I did it. it was water. Well, 
Well, I hope I brought my bathing suit with me because, uh, that, uh, kind of place looks like it's kind of filling up with water quite quickly. Um, let's go through the aqua way. And that should be no surprise. We're getting the marine back. Okay, here we go. The next bomber marine stage. A total of three now? I think this is up to number three. I hope. I'm right. I'm pretty sure it is. Oh, this stage. Okay, this stage. You got Mr. Monster coming towards you. Yeah, you get eaten by the monster. Welcome to a very interesting stage. So, this stage, I think I recall. I I know it's on screen right now, but I'm trying I think I remember the exact uh points that you need for this stage. Um it is 9 9000 you need for this stage, which is quite a bit. Probably the highest level stage on this uh, in this game. So the way to get the points for this area is well, whoa! Bubble things coming towards us. Okay, want to keep an eye out for those things. Just blow them up the second they get close to us. So how exactly are we supposed to get the the point, the score for this stage? Well, that's actually quite simple. Going through the monster is probably the best way. You could take out the monster as well. Um, I don't know how many points that's gonna give you, but as you can see, we're already at, well, almost 4,000. But there we go, we're at the end of the stage. There's the exit right there. But we're not even close to the score that we need, about half. So how exactly are we supposed to clear the stage and get the best rank? because we're already at halfway there, but that's not enough. So, I'm gonna blow this guy up here. Yep. Go back. So, okay, there we go, 5,000. So, how exactly do we clear this stage? So, what we wanna do is we wanna go back, and blow anybody up on our way. Keep blowing up anything that gets in our way. Okay. Thank you, and there's Mr. Monster Guy. Coming towards us. And everything inside it returns. The crystals, the bombs, the whole Shazam. So technically, realistically, this is a, probably a good way to get um, well, all the necessary power-ups you need. To get all your flames, your bombs, this is probably a good stage to get them all. Just seeing as this thing just keeps repeating itself, the flames back, you've got a bomb in here, so you can just keep doing that. I'm gonna go blow up all this stuff around here. And hopefully we should get enough by the end of this uh, this run through, ouch, through uh, big monster belly guy. But I also wanna show off, um, I do wanna show off how much points you get from destroying the monster, which I don't think is a lot. So I don't recommend destroying said monster. Okay. Okay, well, we got the, the, the points. I just gotta... Don't get hurt now. Okay, that should be it. And hopefully that um, health bar is back there on the stage. We go through the monster, which, quite frankly, I don't want to know how this system works, seeing as um, it was a skeleton, and we're inside what seems to be um, like flesh. So you know what? I really don't want to know, let alone, I don't want to know where I just came out of. So, let's not worry about that. Let's see how much points beating the monster gives you. And also, I want to uh, get my health back up. So, here comes Mr. Monster. You want to avoid him at all costs. Avoid Mr. Monster. Mr. Monster will just keep coming back. So, let's get rid of... Let's get rid of this... Uh, cannon guy because I know he's going to be in my way. Okay, he's gone. Monster coming. We're just going to keep shooting. I know you can beat this monster. I've actually beaten it before, but it takes a lot of hits. Is cannons coming from behind us? Is there something coming from behind us? And where's Mr. Monster Guy? Oh, there's Mr. Monster Guy. Okay, so let's try this again. 
There you go, see? You can't hurt Mr. Monster Guy. Ah, you were coming from up top. Take that. Okay, that one's down. Okay, go back. Mr. Monster Guy should be showing up soon. There's Mr. Monster Guy, okay. Hopefully, <laughs> this hopefully doesn't take too long because I don't want to make this seem like a waste of time. I just, I'm very curious to know. I actually don't remember exactly how how many points that gives. I should probably get rid of this guy. Oh, you can attack him when he's going up. Oh, okay. I did not know that. So just take the bombs. Just eat him. Eat the bombs. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back. And is he going to come back too? Ah, I didn't hit him when he was coming back. Okay, let's see here. Oh, nope, still up. Still active, eh? Okay, well, let's swim back. And let's see here. Mr. Monster Guy should be coming back. I didn't get him that time. Come on. We'll get him this time, though. Oh, he's still up. Still up and going. Ooh, okay, we got hurt there, so we gotta be careful. Whoop. Gotta avoid, uh... Is he gonna come? Is he gonna show up? Ah, dang. I was hoping I was hit him there. All right, come on. Let this be it. There we go. That was weird. His head just floated there. 2,000 points by the looks of that. So, like 2,500, I think. So, realistically, no. Just just attack him regularly. Just, just do that. Or not even attack him regularly. I mean, go through the body. That's the best way to do this. Just go through the body, and there you go. So there we go, we got a we got a rank five. That's actually a lot of points we got there. So best way to clear that stage, just go through the monster's body twice, and you should get enough points. And also there's health bars at the end. There's two that you can find. So no surprise, and we're in space by the looks of that map. Like look at that, we're in space. So let's see where we went. We went from here at the entrance to here to the middle area. Death Garden's on the side. Float zones on top of the pyramid. We went to the second pyramid. The water tank's just below the pyramid, and we're in space in the second pyramid. Well, let's fight Nitros in space. That's how I say space. I just go space. Let's go. Not bad, bomber man. You've made it this far. To rescue the princess, you have to defeat me. We'll fight at a dock. This time, I'll rescue the princess for sure. Nitros! He's back at it again, but this time he's got a shield with him. Actually, several shields. So. For this, you must take out the shields. And one more I saw was over there. There we go, shield is down. Once shield is down, it's attacking him like normal. So, the main problem with this fight is Nitros with that shield. Take out that shield as fast as possible. Watch out, because Nitros throws more bombs, mostly behind him. He leaves two bombs behind him, to be exact. So we'll avoid that. So we're gonna keep going, keep throwing our bombs at him. There we go. Just keep at it. Don't stop. And I don't exactly remember how much we gotta get for this time. Ouch. Ooh, okay. We gotta be careful now. Eh, still not enough. There we go. He's taken down. 6,610. Hopefully that was enough. And Bomberman is tired, look at that. He's tired if uh, his health's low. Just enough, we just made it! All right. I'm coming, Princess Million. Princess! Seems like the princess has been taken to this area. Not here, but here. 
Titania Shrine. I don't want to look at that stage. Oh no, that stage is next. <laughs> well, I'm glad I'm ending this here because um, I need to prepare for the next stage. My god, the next stage is coming up. <sighs> next time on Bomberman Hero, we'll be going to Kaitania Shrine. I am not looking forward to this. I know what's next. And I'm not looking forward to it. But I'll see you guys then.